Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. Not exactly. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download the Parallax shaders. And yes, uh, this is like the third shader video I have on my tutorial on my channel but I tried to keep each of them at least a little bit unique so if you guys uh, want to stick around for the mod showcase where I compare this new shader with the ESBE and the Chocopic shaders I'm gonna compare all three of them uh, in my mod showcase so if you guys want to see that go ahead and stick around but if you guys want to go ahead and already start downloading it so you could go ahead and go play it uh, Go ahead and skip to the tutorial with the timestamp provided on screen right here. So yeah, if you guys want to do that, go ahead and do that. So yeah, okay guys, so um, this is uh, what the world looks like with the parallax shaders equipped. Honestly, this might be my new favorite shader. Like, I'm not even trying to be like, I'm not trying to trick you guys like i don't know it's it's got the same similarities of esbe without the uh without the shadows up against the blocks like you know how there would be a shadow up until this point right here and uh, esbe so if you guys aren't a big fan of those shadows this is the pack for you so uh, one quick turnaround i'm gonna look around this is what the world looks like with the parallax shaders equipped okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and equip the other shader right now okay guys so here is what the esbe shaders looks like and as you can tell uh honestly it's a bit brighter and uh i don't know which one i prefer i think i still prefer the esbe but uh parallax definitely is amazing especially with the texture pack they provide in their uh download so you guys should definitely give them a try I will also have the creator's YouTube linked in the description. So yeah, this is what the world looks like with the ESBE shader. And this is what the world looks like with the Chipcapic shaders equipped. A lot of you are going to love this instantly. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I personally don't enjoy it all that much because the sand is very bright compared to the other uh, shaders. Just letting you guys know that Chikapic has very bright sand. So yeah, this is what the world looks like with the Chikapic shaders uh, compared to the uh, Parallax shader. So yeah, if you guys want this shader or the ESBE shader, you can find this Chikapic shader inside of my Extreme Shader tutorial. Uh, and you can find the ESBE one that I showed before this one in my best shader for Xbox tutorial And obviously I'm showing you how to download the parallax shader in this tutorial Another thing to take note of is that the sh Chikapic shader uh, does not change the water in your ocean at all uh, So it comes with great lighting honestly in my opinion. I like this lighting. It's pretty decent like I just don't like this the sign uh, burns my eyes, but uh, yeah, the water is not all that great and that's the reason why I don't use this shader because the nighttime and the water So yeah, this is what it looks water looks like with the uh, Chikapic shader. All right guys, so <laughs> Here's my favorite part about this shader This is what the water looks like with the parallax shader equipped it and if you ask me This is the best water I've seen so far. It is 100% transparent and it looks just as good if you ask me uh, as the uh, ESBE shader water only without the texture and it's more see-through and when you jump in as you can see you could pretty much see everywhere like you don't need night vision to look in this water like it's pretty damn good one thing that I would give advice to the creator is you know how in the ESBE shader when you're in the water you get like um, moving water things like this that just move around like little like light fragments from the sun and you can see the ripples of the water kind of like shining at the bottom of the ocean i think you guys should add this if, if you're watching creator of the parallax uh shader uh please please find a way to add that because that is just very immersive and i like your shader man keep it up so yeah this is what water looks like with the parallax shaders equipped and this is how the water looks like with the esbe shaders as you can tell looks very nice and i am still a big fan of their water because it looks it looks like an ocean 
It's not very transparent compared to the parallax shaders because they do seem to have the uh, normal Minecraft texture on it, or maybe it's a custom one. But yeah, there's uh, as you can tell by the lines in the water right here, uh, there is uh, a texture. And as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the sand in this version. This is not parallax. This is normal ESBE. As you guys can tell, the sand does not blind you. So if you guys like the way the water looks in ESBE, if you guys like the way the world looks in ESBE, go ahead and download that one. But yeah, this is what the water looks like in ESBE. And this is what I was talking about with the parallax shaders that they should do. So when you go to the bottom of the water, first of all, um, your vision kind of becomes a little bit uh, wiggly. Like everything is wiggly under the water. Which kind of simulates being underwater, I guess, in a video game, you know, like Minecraft. It, it kind of simulates in real life, obviously, this doesn't happen, um, but, you, you know, it just adds to it. And then there, you could see the lines moving from the top. You could see the lines moving on the ground from the top. So that is one thing that ESBE has over um, Parallax's water. But what Parallax looks better uh, overall from the top, the water. But, like, when you go inside the water, it's just... Sure, you can't see as much as you can with the parallax, but like, dude, this is so immersive. I just love the, the lighting that they just added for no reason, even though they didn't have to. Uh, but yeah, this is the ESBE water. I hope you guys do not mind the length of this video because I'm trying to be as detailed as possible with my review and comparing uh, the three shaders together. So yeah, this is what the uh, clouds look like in the parallax shader. This is what the skybox looked like. Uh, so yeah right here and then uh, you can't really see much of the sun there's so many clouds that you really can't see much of the sun uh, most of the time but this is what the sun looks like it looks very realistic it's just a blur of light like uh, which is what I like honestly like uh, this is what the sun should look like and uh, yeah the clouds there's actually moving clouds right here as you can see and then there's some that just stay there but yeah it adds a bit of realism you know it makes you feel like you're actually looking at a real-life sky uh, even though you're in Minecraft it looks very beautiful honestly I think this is the best uh, daytime skybox I've seen out of any of these shaders. So yeah, this is what it looks like with uh, what the daytime and sun and clouds look like with the E, not the ESB. This is the parallax shaders. God, I'm an idiot. But yeah, uh, parallax shaders skybox. All right, guys. So this is what the skybox looks like with the Chakapic shader, aka the shader from my Extreme Shaders tutorial. Uh, the, sk the sun looks good. I like it. Um, Somehow, Parallax has managed to make the sun look even better than the sun from the uh, Chikapic shader, because uh, this used to be the best looking sun, in my opinion. But now, honestly, I think the best looking sun is Parallax, at least when it's up in the sky. It looks, This looks less realistic compared to theirs, honestly. I didn't expect that, but... Yeah, this is what the world looks like with the uh, Chakapic shaders equipped. Alright guys, I feel bad. I'm making ESBE look bad. <laughs> I like, you know, honestly, the skybox isn't that bad with ESB. It's very minimalistic, uh, and it has clouds that look real. But yeah, this is what the skybox looks like with the ESBE shaders. Alright guys, so this is what the sunset looks like with the parallax shaders equipped. Um, the only thing I gotta really complain about is the fact that there is, you know, I like the clouds, don't get me wrong. But like, the thing is, uh, the clouds kind of cover up the sunset every night. Or not every night, but every, you know, when it's turning night. Or when it's turning day, I think. Because, you know, it looks the same way the other way around, only going up. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys look at this sunset. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, and this is what the sunset looks like with the Chikopic shaders equipped. I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing that I did with the parallax shaders and just fast forward the sunset and let you guys see what it looks like. And this is what the sunset looks like with the ESBE 3, well 3.0 yeah, 3.0 shaders uh, right here. If you guys want this one, you know, you guys know where to get it. I've already said it multiple times, but yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did it with the other two and just fast forward and let you guys look at the sunset. And this is what the nighttime sky looks like for the parallax shaders. They have the nice uh, like lighting. The cool fucking lights in the sky and clouds 
and stars and they still have a moon right here so this is what the moon looks like with the parallax shaders equipped and the nighttime sky so this is what the moon looks like with the Chocapic shader equipped and this is what the nighttime sky looks like with the Chocapic shader and just letting you guys know that it does make the nighttime look a little bit uh, gray but it's not entirely gray there's still color uh, but yeah this is what nighttime looks like with the Chocapic shaders equipped and this is what the nighttime sky looks like with the E S B E shaders equipped it. That is the moon right there. It is very tiny, but it is very far away and realistic. So I'll give them that. And um, I don't know. I, in my personal opinion, this one does still have the best nighttime skybox. Uh, so yeah, that's. I don't know. I love it. It looks dope. It's got the nice clean lines. It's got the beautiful stars. It's got a little bit of clouds to make it feel like there's shit up there. And then the stars, obviously. And then they got the moon, which can show up in full half, etc. You know, like the normal Minecraft moon. But yeah, this is what the ESBE nighttime looks like. Alright guys, so this is what a village looks like with the parallax shaders equipped. I'm just gonna go ahead and give a quick little fly around of uh, all the structures and the lighting of everything. As you can tell, honestly, this looks very clean um, with the shadings. I don't see very much glitches going on with the way the houses look and the uh, and the shaders they're not really clashing so that's a good thing as you can see the well has a shadow on it right here because this is on top of it it's pretty cool all right so that's what the village looks like with the um parallax shaders equipped so yeah let's go ahead and switch to the other one and this is what the village looks like with the Chikapic shaders equipped. And already, as you can see, this shader does have a lot of issues with lighting bugs. Uh, as you can see, there's the parallax shader did not have this, but the Chikapic shader does. So if you guys do download the Chikapic shaders, aka the shader from my extreme shader tutorial, just keep in note that there are a few lighting bugs. But yeah, this is what the world looks like with the extreme shader, aka Chikapic shader equipped right here. And as you can see, this, this entire house right here is just engulfed in, in darkness. Same with the front of this house right here. And right here too, lighting bug right there. So yeah, uh, it seems to still have lighting bugs. Obviously, why would that change? But yeah, this is what the world looks like with the uh, Chikabic shaders equipped. Let's go ahead and switch to the other one. And this is what the village looks like with the ESBE shaders equipped. So hopefully this video is detailed enough for you guys to decide which one you guys plan on downloading if you have not downloaded any. And hopefully uh, I have been very informative on how the pack works and looks on Minecraft Worlds. So pretty much my goal was to give you guys a detailed uh, review of Parallax and comparing it to the Chikapic and the ESBE shaders that you guys have seen me using before. Uh, as you guys can see, the ESBE shaders does not have the lighting bugs, which is a plus. But yeah, download the one you guys think is best. Uh, personally, I like the nighttime sky from the ESBE. I like the daytime sky from the Parallax. And I like the water from the Parallax, but ESBE has the things inside the water that makes it look like there's like lines and the light is coming, you know, because, you know, there's waves on top now and boom, lines at the bottom moving too. So yeah, that's the only thing the ESBE has over the Parallax, honestly, uh, that in the sky. So yeah. Anyways, that is the end of the tutorial. So just letting you guys know that I am using a very super duper HD texture pack version in this showcase that I will show you how to download in this version, uh, in this version, in this video. So yeah, uh, don't worry. You get, and if you guys go to the tutorial, I will show you how to download the super HD Minecraft textures uh, that are made by Parallax and the shader. So yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new because I spent a ridiculous amount of time on this video, to be honest. Uh, probably the m longest video recorded uh, 
honestly in a while from me and uh, yeah this showcase right now as it stands is 44 minutes long I'm gonna try to condense it and shorten it with my editing skills to be at least hopefully 15 minutes I don't know maybe it'll turn out to be 20 minute long showcase I hope not but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live and share this shader with all of your family cousins friends Please, the number one thing you guys could do to show your support for me is to obviously, one, hit the like button, two, turn on notifications, three, share. That is the number one thing about social media nowadays. If you guys want me, uh, want to help me grow on YouTube, etc., go ahead and make sure to share this. Uh, because not a lot of people know that there is shaders and mods available for Xbox. So if you guys can, please share my channel, let them know. Oh, check this out. It's pretty dope, you know? But yeah, um, other than that, Thank you guys for watching the showcase and let's get straight into the tutorial. Real quick before I get into the tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys are having any issue downloading slash installing slash using any of my mods from any of my videos including this one go ahead and join my discord linked in the description you will find the invite there in order to join my discord so if, like I said if you guys need help please 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 join there I have a full team of mods and admins that will hopefully help you out uh, so yeah uh, let's go ahead and start the tutorial go ahead and push the middle button to bring up this menu uh, so that's step one of the tutorial and then push right bumper until you go all the way here and then press A on settings after you press A on settings on the left side you're gonna be up here on account go down to display and sound and press A on video output after you press A on video output in the center column you're gonna see something that says video fidelity and overscan go ahead and press A to open that up and on the way right you're gonna see something that says apps can add a border so you need to make sure that there is no check mark inside of this box Boom, that's what it looks like with a check mark. Boom, that's what it looks like without a check mark. The reason you need to get rid of this, and it will be there by default, so go ahead and make sure to get rid of that check mark. The reason you need to get rid of this is because you will not be able to install the mods if you have the check mark right there. The next thing you need to do is go ahead and make sure you have File Downloader, File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and last but not least, UFO.transfer. You can find UFO.transfer and File Downloader both in the Microsoft Store on your Xbox. All you have to do is go to the Apps section and just look up their names. Uh, so this one is File Downloader, this one is UFO.transfer, and then the other two that you need that should be on your Xbox by default is File Explorer and Microsoft Edge. Just letting you guys know that your Fire File Explorer might be a different color, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, so yeah, once you have all four of these apps and you made sure you have them, go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge, and then navigate yourself to this website right here. Uh, MC P E D L dot com. I repeat, I repeat, M C P E D L dot com. Once you're on this website, it should look, you know, this this will probably be a different picture depending on how far ahead in the future you are. Uh, so yeah, once you're on this website, go to the top right and press A on this magnifying glass, and then start typing in P A R A L L A. X and then press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and it should begin searching and right here this is what you want not this on the right you want this right here parallax shaders go ahead and press a on this and it should bring you to this page right here and you know there's a bunch of details on you know what they plan on adding and what they think about their own pack and things that they're trying to you know do and stuff and things so right here you're going to want to hover over latest downloads and just press a on it and it should open up a new tab that looks exactly like this right here and then right here you just want to press uh a on parallax shaders mc pack and uh let me make okay I wasn't very clear but just making sure you have to click on the name right here okay guys once you press a on the name it'll open up this right here okay so once you're here go ahead and hover over this big rectangle that is green that says download on it and once you're hovering over it, the cruiser will turn blue with a hand pointing go ahead and press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and then go ahead and once this menu comes up you want to press a on copy link after you copy link uh, you can close this and keep uh, 
actually you could close this here too but keep this open and then open up the next app that I told you guys to download called file downloader once file downloader is done loading over at the top left you're going to see three lines go ahead and press a on those three lines and then click on from url once you press a on from url you want to make sure to press a on local storage before doing anything else once you're in local storage so right here enter or paste it here hover over this huge rectangle that says enter or paste it here go ahead and press the pause button on it aka the button with the three lines and don't worry if this comes up this is not what should have come up in the first place don't worry just push b and with your left analog go ahead and move down and it should bring up the paste button so yeah uh, go ahead and once, once this comes up go ahead and press a on it and it should paste what we copied earlier and over here on the way right side of your screen you're going to see an arrow pointing downwards inside of a circle go ahead and press a on that circle after you press a on that circle you will see a rectangle in the bottom center of your screen that says start go ahead and press a on that and it should begin the download like i said i don't know how long this is it didn't take that long to be honest so once your download is done uh, downloading at the top left you want to press a on the three lines again and then click on storage after you press a on storage you want to press a on local storage and then right here you will see parallax shaders.mc pack now what you want to do next is go ahead and press a on the square to the left of it and it should put a check mark inside of that square and then go to the bottom right and press a on the three dots icon at the bottom right and then go ahead and press a on rename once this menu pops up and then once this comes up on your screen go ahead and push right bumper one time erase the mc pack portion of this text make sure to leave the dot and then replace it with z i p after you replace it with z i p you can go ahead and press ok and what this does is it transforms it from a folder that we cannot open to a folder that we can open so right here parallax shaders go ahead and hover over it and press a to open it up and as you can see this is what yours should look like materials shaders textures biome blah 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 if it doesn't look like this then the file corrupted while it was downloading unfortunately so you all you're gonna have to re-download it but if it looks just like this go ahead and push b to go back and then now we're going to create a new folder for these uh, files. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover over the rectangle once again and press A on it and then type in P A R A L L A X space S H A D E R. So once you type that in, uh, parallax shader, at the bottom right, you're going to go to the three dots, press A on the three dots again, and then click on new folder at the way top. Boom. And uh, it should bring you to an area that says no items by the current path. Don't worry, just push the B button. Boom. And as you can see, we have created the folder. Now what you need to do is open up the parallax shaders.zip. Once you open it up, at the bottom right, you're going to see an icon that looks like three lines two check marks and a square go ahead and press a on that icon after you press a on the icon that looks exactly like that press a on the icon to the left of it that looks like a paper pointing to a paper boom after you press a on both of those in the exact order that i told you to in go ahead and push b to go back and then open up the parallax shader folder that we created earlier boom after you open it up and we are inside of it at the bottom right you will see a icon that looks like a clipboard go ahead and press a on that clipboard in order to paste everything from the zip folder the parallax zip folder into this folder right here so once it's done pasting it should look exactly like this uh, so now what you want to do is open up Microsoft Edge and if you guys do not want this you do not have to follow this part of the tutorial but I'm going to show you guys how to get the texture pack that they use uh, for that they want you to use for this shader just letting you guys know and it says not recommended for mobile so in order to download the texture pack that they want you to use this shader with uh, you can use any te texture pack you want by the way but you know I'm just going to show you guys how to download this just in case some of you do uh, so go ahead and hover over texture pack used not recommended for mobile uh, go ahead and press a on it and once you press a on it it will open this page up and then right here once it's done loading you'll see the mc pack and the zip go ahead and press a on parallax textures zip 
I don't know why I downloaded the MC pack for these shaders, but whatever, man. Tutorial's a tutorial. It's gonna work at the end of the day. So right here, parallax textures, boom. Go ahead and hover over this right here and press the pause button, aka the button with the three lines, and then copy link, and then go ahead and make sure to close your file downloader because I forgot to tell you guys that earlier. But once you close it, uh, you can close it by going over it and pressing the pause button and then pressing close like I did. Uh, once it's closed, go ahead and open up file downloader again. Once you open up file downloader again, you, same thing as last time. Top left, three lines, press A. From URL, right here, press A. You guys should be a little bit used to it, so I'm going to try to rush through it a little bit. So next, you have to press local storage. Enter or paste it here, hover over it, and press the pause button on it. Boom. Paste. Once you paste the correct thing on here, at the way right, you're going to see an arrow in, pointing downwards inside of a circle. Press A on that circle. Bottom center, you want to press A on the rectangle that says start. Once the download starts, just have some patience. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take because this is my first time downloading these textures. So I'm going to go ahead and fast. Oh, never mind. I was going to fast forward to when it's done, but it doesn't seem to take that long. So that's a good thing. Top left, press A on these three lines now. Press on front, uh, storage right here. Boom. Once you press A on storage, you want to press A on local storage. Then right here, you will see the uh, parallax textures dot zip. Let's see if they're okay. So they're just thrown everywhere. So it should look like this. And if it doesn't, that means your download was corrupted. So the next thing you need to do is uh, press A on this rectangle right here. Boom. Once you press A on that long rectangle, go ahead and type in parallax p a r a l l a x space textures t e x t u r e s once you're done typing that in at the bottom right like we created this folder right here the same way you go to the bottom right press a on the three dots and then click on new folder boom once you created a new folder go ahead and push b to go back and then go to the parallax textures.zip press a to open it up and then right here at the bottom right, you want to press A on the icon that looks like three lines, two ch check marks, and a square. After you press on the icon that looks like that, the one to the left of it, that looks like a paper pointing to a paper, boom. After you press A on both of these those icons in the order that I told you to in, go ahead and push B to go back. And then uh, open up the parallax textures folder, boom. And then at the bottom right, you want to go down to the clipboard icon after you are in here and press A on the clipboard. And that will begin pasting all of the texture uh folders into this so yeah uh, i'm gonna go ahead and skip to when it's done pasting because i do not know how long it is going to take okay guys so it seems to have finished pasting for me uh when i started pasting it was 2 38 p.m and now it is 2 42 p.m so if for those of you that need uh you know want a time on how long it took that is just about how long it took not that much just a couple minutes and once it's done pacing, uh, go ahead and open up the next app that I told you guys to make sure to have downloaded. And that app is called UFO.transfer. Once UFO.transfer is done loading, at the top right you will see a gear icon. And if you do not see this gear icon, that means that you skipped step one. So rewind to the tutorial, the beginning of the tutorial portion of this video, and go ahead and uh, do that first step. But if you guys already see it, go ahead and press A on the gear icon and then go to f open in file explorer. It will be a huge rectangle on the left side. Go ahead and press A on it. And what this does is it gives you access to a certain folder that you normally cannot access without UFO.transfer. So once you're done loading this up at the top, go ahead and press A on packages. Once you press A on packages, you need to find this folder right here. Megascopes.universal file. It should not be too hard to find. It has a bunch of random numbers in the beginning of it, just like this. So once you find the Megascopes.universal file folder, go ahead and press A to open it up. Boom. And then right here, local state. And once you're in local state, you will find the parallax shader and the parallax textures. Now, what you want to do is you want to hover over parallax shader 
and press the pause button, aka the button with the three lines. And then once this menu comes up, you want to press A on cut. After you press A on cut, at the top you want to press A on packages again. And then once you press A on packages, you want to find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Mine's is right here. Yours might be on the right side, yours might be higher, yours might be lower. But once you find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder in this location, go ahead and open it up and then go into local state, games, Mojang, and then right here, resource underscore packs. If you do not have this folder created, the way you create it is you go down to the bottom uh, and press A on this icon right here that looks like a paper with a plus symbol. Once you press A on it, this will come up, type in resource underscore packs, and then once you type that in, go ahead and press OK. And I just need to let you guys know because I can't stress this enough. A lot of people mess this part up. You, it needs to be spelled exactly like my folder. R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E -E underscore P-A-C-K-S with the underscore in everything and the S at the end of packs or else this will not work. So once you have this folder, go ahead and open it up. And then at the bottom right, you will see a clipboard icon. Uh, so go down and then press A on this clipboard icon that I am hovering over. And once you press A on it, it should begin pasting the parallax shader. Now that we have this one in the correct location, go ahead and push B one time. And then once you're in here at the top, you want to press A on packages. And then now we're going to go back into the megascopes.universal file folder right here. And once you're back in the universal file folder, go ahead and press A on local state. And I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, you know, mo myself moving the textures in case some of you want to do this too. It's the same thing, but just in case, uh, hover over it and then press the pause button and then press cut once this menu comes up. And then at the top, you want to press A on packages again. And then once you're in here, you want to find the Microsoft uh, Minecraft UWP console folder. Boom, open it up. And then right here, local states and games, Mojang, resource underscore packs. I already taught you guys how to uh, create it. So hopefully you guys uh, do know how to do that. If you do not have it, boom, open it up. <coughs> and then at the bottom right, you will see a icon that looks like a clipboard. Once again, go ahead and press A on it to paste. And just like that, we have the parallax textures and the parallax shader both in the correct location. Now, please do not stop watching the video. I'm gonna show you how to equip it on your minecraft world so it works properly once your game is done loading go ahead and press play and once you press play you go down to the world where you want to equip the uh texture and the shader too so in my case this would be my pre-village update world the reason i named it that is because i was creating the world when uh the village update wasn't out yet the village and pillage so yeah uh, so you want to go to the world where you want to equip the shader and texture pack onto press the pencil to the right of the world Once you press a on the pencil it will begin syncing user data and once that finishes uh, Over on the left side you want to go down to resource packs and yes, this does not disable achievement I repeat this does not disable achievements uh, Because it is technically technically just a resource pack even though it is shaders So go ahead and go down to parallax textures This is the first one that you want to equip press a on it and then press plus uh, and don't worry if you guys don't have the textures and you didn't download it like I said you didn't need to in this video then you're good equip the parallax shaders on by pressing a on it and then pressing plus but if you guys did download the textures make sure that the textures is underneath the shaders just to avoid any like bugs so yeah shaders on top textures underneath and if you accidentally put it on top you can move it around with these two arrows right here so uh, once you have it equipped, go ahead and press play. And once your world loads up, you will see how beautiful the world looks. Not only because of the super duper HD texture pack, but because of the, because of the, what is my English? But because of the shaders. Alrighty, guys. So I have the shaders equipped with the um, texture, as you can tell. Just by looking at this texture, it has a bunch of detail added to it that normal planks do not have. Same with the uh, oak, and same with everything else, as you can tell. The furnace has a bunch of extra textures, just detailing that you do not need, <laughs> but you have it. So that's what makes this pack awesome. Look at this. Look at the detail into the uh, redstone lamp right here, lantern. And then the, oh man, I'll go outside and show you guys the lighting of the world. Uh, is it nighttime? Yep, it is nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, I, actually, I can just go ahead and show you guys the nighttime right now. That's what the moonlight looks like. This is what the nighttime looks like. All right, let's go to sleep.
Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a video in the future. Shout out to my boy, obviously, Ducks. A link to his channel will be linked in the description. He hasn't uploaded in a while, but hopefully you guys could, uh, please go, like, leave a comment on his latest video saying, please upload, because I've been trying to get him to upload. Hopefully he will. Uh, but yeah. If you guys want to find any other mods, uh, I do have other mods linked on... Oh, wow, dude, that shield texture, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, this... The, the HD texture pack is legit. Like, this is legit. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, the video. Uh, but yeah, real quickly, I just want to show you guys the water. Because I already showed all this in the showcase. But just in case you guys skipped, boom, this is what the water looks like. Nice and clear. Uh, but yeah, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Um... If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you guys just want to tell me something, I try to read every comment. I'll miss one every now and then, and I feel bad when I do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best fan base. Thank you for 40k, 50k soon, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!